Hey everybody, Anthony here, and welcome to this lesson where we are going to explore how to find the mean, median, mode, and range of a set of numbers. So let's start out by looking at two key questions. For a given set of data, what does the mean, median, mode, and range represent? And how can you find mean, median, mode, and range? Now before we look at any examples, let's incorporate some key vocabulary terms. We'll start out by saying that mean, median, and mode are measures of central tendency. And that just means that mean, median, and mode are three different ways of expressing the averages of a set of data. And finally, the range of a set of data is the difference between the highest and lowest values. So now let's go ahead and look at a couple of examples. So in this first example, we want to find the mean, median, mode, and range of the data set. And in this case, the data set is the number of goals scored over the last seven soccer games. And so we see our data set is just a list of number, each number representing the number of goals scored in each game. Now, before you can find the mean, median, mode, and range, you have to make sure that the values are in ascending or descending order. And that just means either from least to greatest or from greatest to least. And for our examples today, we are going to rearrange the numbers from least to greatest, which is also known as ascending order. So again, all that we just did was rearrange the numbers in the data set from least to greatest, or from smallest to largest, from left to right. And now we are ready to find the mean, median, mode, and range. So let's go ahead and start out by finding the mean of this data set. So the mean of a data set is the numerical average. And to find the average, we just divide the total sum by the total amount of numbers. So in this example, we're going to start by finding the total sum by adding all seven numbers together. So we have 1 plus 3 plus 4 plus 6 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8, which equals 35. So 35 is the total sum of all of the numbers in the data set. And now we have to divide that total sum by the total amount of numbers in the data set and we know that there are seven numbers. So to find the mean, we're taking 35, the total sum, and dividing it by seven, the total amount of numbers. And since 35 divided by seven equals five, we can conclude that the mean is five goals per game. Okay, so now we can move on to finding the median of the data set. And the median is just the middle value. So we just have to find the middle value of the data set. And an easy way to find the middle number is to just look at our data set and start to cross out numbers on the left and right side as we start to move towards the center and find out which value is in the middle. And by doing this, we can easily see that six is that middle value. And we can conclude that the median of this data set is six goals scored. All right, now we can go ahead and find the mode of this data set. And the mode is just the most common number. And just keep in mind that it is possible to have more than one mode or no mode at all. 
Now to find the mode of a data set is pretty simple. We just want to look at our values and see if we can find any numbers that repeat. And in this example, the only value that occurs more than once is 6. And so 6 is the only number that repeats. We can conclude that the mode of the data set is 6 goals scored. And now the last thing that we have to do is find the range of the data set. And the range is the difference between the highest and lowest values. So it's just the largest number in the data set minus the smallest number. So for this data set, the largest number is 8, and the smallest number is 1. So to find the range, we just perform 8 minus 1, which we know is equal to 7. And we can conclude that the range of the data set is 7 goals scored. Okay, so now we finish the problem. We just found the mean or average, the mode or most common, the median or the middle, and the range, the difference between the largest and smallest numbers of this data set. And remember, these are all different ways of thinking about and expressing the average value, in this case, the average number of goals scored per game. So now let's go ahead and look at one more example. Okay, so here's one more example where we want to find the mean, median, mode, and range of a given data set. Now in this example, our data set is the hours spent studying per week, and we're looking at a larger data set than we had in the last example. However, the process for finding mean, median, mode, and range is still going to be exactly the same. So just like the last example, we are going to start by reordering the values from smallest to largest. Now we can start by finding the mean or average of the data set by dividing the total sum by the total number of numbers. So in this example to find the total sum we're just going to add up all of our numbers and we should end up with a sum of 131. And in this example, the data set has 10 total values. So to find the mean, we have to divide 131 by 10. And doing that gives us a quotient of 13.1. So we can conclude that the mean of the data set is 13.1. And just so you know, getting a result that has a decimal is totally fine. Moving on, let's go ahead and now find the median or middle of this data set. And just like in the last example, we can start crossing out numbers from left to right as we narrow in on the middle value. Now in this example, since the data set has an even number of values, there are 10 total values, you're going to see that there will be two numbers in the middle, in this case 10 and 14. And whenever this is the case, when there are two numbers in the middle, you just have to find the average of those two numbers. And you can find the average of these two numbers by adding them together, 10 plus 14 equals 24, and then just dividing by 2. And we know that 24 divided by 2 equals 12, and so we can conclude that the median of this data set is 12. So now we're ready to find the mode of the data set, or just the most common number. Now we should notice that in this data set there are two values that repeat, 9 and 10. However, notice that the number 10 occurs twice in the data set, but the number 9 occurs three times. And so therefore we can conclude that the mode, or most common value, is 9.
And now the last step is to find the range of the data set, which is just the difference between the largest and smallest values. So to find the range, we take the largest value 20 and subtract the smallest value 9. And we're left with a difference of 11. And so we can conclude that the range of the data set is 11. And so now we have found the mean, median, mode, and range of this data set. So just keep these procedures in mind. You might want to go back and redo these problems a couple more times, but just keep in mind that these procedures for finding mean, median, mode, and range will apply to any problem involving these types of questions. So just get the procedure down, know the difference and the key vocabulary between each term, and you'll be totally fine. So thanks again for stopping by on this lesson, and we'll see you all next time. Bye. Hi, everyone. Anthony here one last time. Hope you found that lesson to be helpful. And if you want to help us out, please like the video and subscribe to our channel. We're committed to adding new video lessons every week, and now would be the time to subscribe. So I really hope that you would consider it. And also, don't miss your chance to download your free practice worksheet that's included with this video lesson. Just click the link in the description below and you can get your download. Hope to see you all soon. Bye.